Hey, what is going on guys? Danny here. Welcome back to the channel and I hope you've all been doing well. I wanted to make this brief video for you guys because I am just absolutely astounded when things like this happen, but at the same time it's also just so infuriating. I was actually working on doing some benchmarks for another upcoming video that I have planned for the near future, but I decided to make this video to show you guys what's going on. So here we have my test bench which is running an i9 13900K, 32GB of 7200DDR5 memory, and an RTX 4090. So Pretty high-end stuff, it really doesn't get much better than this. Now, I was in the middle of testing Total War Warhammer 3. This is a game from the RTS genre that I always like to include in my benchmark suite. Now, I haven't really had too many problems or anything out of the ordinary occur with this game in the past, but I was running some tests on my hardware here, and I noticed that this game was just stuttering quite frequently. Now, a lot of games out there will stutter here and there. That's normal. There's unfortunately not too much you can do about it, as many games there don't really produce a smooth frame time graph. But things like shader compiling, new area loading, things like that can cause it. But with this game, you'd expect performance to be overall smooth with little to no stuttering. However, as you can see from the footage here, we're testing at 1080p with the hardware I mentioned earlier, and you just see some frequent stuttering and hitching. Some of these being very drastic spikes, and I can see that just causing a very awful experience for players. I was really baffled by this behavior because I wasn't sure what had happened since the last time I tested the game. All the settings were the same, nothing was different with the components, nothing with the OS, so I was just astonished as to what the hell happened here. Well, it turns out the problem wasn't with my system, my settings, or the hardware, but it was an issue with the game itself. There was an update that recently broke the way the game handled thread utilization. Now, thankfully, someone on Reddit posted a solution to this problem that was sourced from the official Warhammer 3 forum. The fix is really simple, all you have to do is navigate over to the script's file location, and depending on which version of the game you have, the Steam version, Windows Store, or Epic Games, then that location will differ, but once you're there, you just create a text document called user.script, and in this document, you put these two lines in it. Now, the line where it says number of threads will depend on your system, I tried a bunch of different values and found for my 13900K, 8 threads gave me the best result, but even just the default value 5, tremendous helped improve the stuttering. So with the fix applied, we can see that at 1080p and at 4K, while we don't see a huge increase to our average FPS, it doesn't change by a lot. It's the 1% lows which showed a dramatic increase. We see at 1080p, our 1% lows improved by a whopping 34%, and at 4K, the difference is actually even larger at 40%, which I find very intriguing since we'd be more GPU bound at that resolution. And because many of you guys have told me you like to see live side-by-side -side comparisons, I've also got some test footage here, and first we'll take a look at the 1080p footage, and then you can take a look at the 4K footage to see the differences for yourselves.
So after taking a look at the benchmarks, you guys can see clearly just how much smoother the gameplay was with the user.script fix applied. While I'm glad I was able to get this resolved so I can resume testing, it's worth mentioning though that just how frustrating this stuff is, not just as a gamer, but as a reviewer as well. You're scrambling around to find out what the hell is going on with your system. Did I actually turn on a setting that hurts performance? Did I disable something? Just what's going on? And then after some digging, you find out, oh, it was actually the devs that did something with the most recent update that broke a lot of stuff in the back end. And this isn't the first time I've seen stuff like this. I've had an issue with Hitman 3 earlier this year with a horrible memory leak bug that was just absolutely tanking performance. This update came out right after they launched the World of Assassination update, and they didn't fix it for months, so I actually had to drop the game for a while. It's stuff like this that makes you wonder just how terrible the quality control is with these studios. You have a game that's working fine, and then bam, an update comes along and your performance has gone to absolute crap. I remember seeing a lot of Warzone players constantly complaining their performance was degrading with every patch. This just adds on top to that argument of games being poorly optimized. You also have situations like these where the game was working fine and then due to an update, patch, or expansion, it makes performance drop down to absolute crap. So the takeaway here is that if you find one day that your game just isn't working the way it used to, then it might not be your system but a rough update that somehow got pushed through and you might have to go through the hassle of finding the fix yourself online. It's a damn shame because not only do you feel like a beta tester, but then you also have to find a solution to your problems yourself. Anyways guys, I hope you learned something valuable from this video. We'll touch base in the next one. If you guys found this video to be informative and entertaining, then leave a like. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Be sure to check out the video description for cool links and ways to support the channel, such as using my Amazon affiliate link. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, then consider subscribing, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.